Hello viewers, welcome back to the card mat. I'm going to show you a move now called copping. And it's it's very similar to palming, but there's there are certain people who can't palm cards. Um maybe because the hands are too small, so when they've got the card in there, the card's actually wider than what the fingers are, so a bit of the card's either sticking out that side or that side. I mean, that's one reason why people can't do it. The hands are too, they could be too um, too young. You know, the hands haven't grown enough yet. But you can buy three quarter size cards for them people whose hands are too small. Get a three quarter size. It's I mean these are poker and you got the bridge size. Then you have a three quarter size which is again smaller than the bridge. And if you can do get them and practice with them. At least that way you'll get used to doing a palm. And being able to do whatever tricks comes along with it. So that when you get bigger hands, using bigger cards, you've already got all them moves and them tricks already down. It's not as if you're trying to start and to learn how to do tricks just because you need to be able to palm a card. Right, anyway, that's enough on palming. Uh, we're doing copping. And I say it's basically the same thing, but instead of having the card caught in your hand up here you're going to be having a card more down here in your hand so for obviously people with smaller smaller hands and smaller fingers it works a lot better because it's further down on the hand and it's hidden underneath the palm and you don't have to worry about opening your fingers because in a palm position if you don't keep your fingers closed you see the card through the gaps and that's no good right there's loads of different methods for um, copping or cupping the card. I'll give you two for the top, two for getting one in the middle and two for one on the bottom. I'd say there are loads of them, but these are just ones that I like using. Right, first one for the top one. It's very similar to um, palming, because you can palm the card just like that and take it away. And you can do it with a cop as well. But you need your hand to be a bit higher up. So when you get the card out, you've got it in position. And all you're doing is just, as your hand comes over, you're just pushing the card, the top card over. So you're just pushing the top card over, coming across, hitting it into about here on your palm. Just so that you can get it with your thumb on the other side. And it looks pretty natural. I mean, it is angle sensitive. A cop is angle sensitive and you can go too far that way and you'll flash and if you come too far this way you can flash but you can't flash through your fingers unless you have your hands up like that and you're not exactly going to be waving at your spectator are you no not when you're trying to hide a card anyway so again that one you're just pushing the top card over coming along and it's gone in cop position So that's one way of doing it off the top. Another way, and I think this one's a bit more, a bit more honest and deceptive. You're going to basically do the same thing, pushing the card over to the right. But you're suddenly going to go over very slightly, and then you're just going to move your finger in a little bit of an arc, well, your thumb in a bit of an arc, just so you get the top corner coming up. So it's just a little push and a spin, just so you get that top corner coming up. And don't forget that's all done on the cover of your hand so that won't get seen as your hand goes there you're just doing that and then you're coming away with the card so say you just around and up till you get that corner then you're just doing the exact same thing as you done with the other one getting about that part of your hand to hit that corner and getting it that corner into there And it's done. You can on this one get it right a little bit over and across and as you get it with your hand just push it up a little bit just so it clears the deck a bit more if you're having a bit of difficulty. Get your thumb there and again you you come away with the card at the edge. You can see that flash in there. I just looked at the camera myself. 
it's going along, you're catching it and you're coming down. I think it's better though if you just get it just a little bit over and catch it, because then when you get your hand on it, you can actually use the pack to help you. Because all you're going to do is catch it, as I say, with your hand there. And then you're just going to pull it over the corner of the card, the deck, and that will naturally put a curve into the card, which will then put it in a curved position. Because as you can see, when you've got it copped, it is bent with the pressure. There, you can, you can just see it's got a bend in it. We just just squeezing on it. So by doing that way, the, the pack is actually helping you get it into the right position. Right, so that's two ways on the top. Say a selected, uh, spectator selected the ace of spades and you're going to be putting it into the middle of the packet. Push the card down on a bit of an angle, grab it with your thumb, there's a little corner sticking out there, you just grab that with your thumb. You have your little finger on the back edge of this card and you just use that and that to guide it down. And where it comes out of the back here, you've got your thumb. You've got that thumb there. So you're just letting that card, this edge of that card, run down the side of your thumb. While that's pushing down and that one there support on it. Until you get it so far down, then just use your ring finger just to square it, pull the card out and put your first finger on the top. So you then got hold of it with your little finger at the bottom and your first finger on the top of the card. Then all you're going to do is carry the first finger, pulling down, pushing this one back a bit, but then you're going to bend the card out. So you just push it back a bit and you're bending the card out. Turn your little finger away from the pack and push up with your ring, your middle finger so you get the card right into your hand and then you've pulled your hand away with the card in position. So you get it to go in, pull it down a bit, kick it out with your ring finger, put your first finger on the top, push it back a bit, bend it out all the way, twist your little finger away from the pack, get it into position, push it up with your middle finger and you've got it in position if you're pulling your hand away. And I say once you've got it in a cop, you can still do certain things. I mean, you can sit there and you can cut the deck, and people won't know, and you can put the card back onto the top. One way of using it. Uh, another one for doing from the, the middle. And it's basically the same start up. You put it in, and you push it on an angle. But you push it more on an angle so it stays on the top of the, the packet. And then you just square in that then straight around. Again you just give it a little kick out with the bottom and pull your hand up into position and push it into place. And you're taking the card away again. So again you stick it into the, the pack, but just leave it just off centre so it's just sticking out on the right hand side of it because then as you push it down you're actually going to be pushing it down and pushing it along so it'll go in and along and you've got it sticking out of the pack already then you're just bringing that hand up getting it into position on your hand pushing with you up with your middle finger and pulling your thumb around and you've got the card again I'll do that one once more because that one was sloppy, I actually dropped it there. So it just goes in, into position, kick the bottom out, pull your hand up, push your hand off, catch, and you're taking the card away. Right, let's go for the bottom one. You got the, the selected, selected cards on the bottom or whatever card you, you're using is on the bottom. Hold your hand in that kind of a position. You can have your fingers bent naturally, but make sure that 
you've got room there for the card to slide out. Don't have your fingers bent so much that as the card's coming out, it's going to start hitting into fingers. You need to make sure your fingers are out of the way. So what you're going to do is push this bottom card into your hand with these two fingers. And then kick it out slightly on an angle. Again, so it's going to say the same angle, if you can see, as my hand is. Because you need it on that angle. So that when you get it there, you can put it into the cop position. It, it's right. Oh, it's on the bottom, any. So again, you're just holding the pack. I mean, it's, it's a fairly natural way of holding the pack. You're just holding the pack like that, as if you're gesturing to something or you're talking. And all you do is you bring your hand over, the pads of these two fingers are just going to contact that bottom card just as you get there. You're going to push it across, grab the top of the pack and kick the bottom out. Pull your hand up, get it into position, push it up with your middle finger and you pull your hand away in a coughed position. Another one for doing the bottom and it's probably the most used one. Get a pinky break on the bottom pinky break on the bottom card and all you're doing is you're sliding your hand back sliding your hand forward and you're taking the card away so you get a little pinky break if you want to you can turn it into a thumb break it's no biggie it might actually be better putting it into a thumb break than leaving it as a pinky break it just depends how you quick you're doing it if you've got it in that hand there and it's gone. I mean, that's a bit higher up in this hand doing it that way. That's the only problem with it. It does end up a bit higher. Uh, another way you can do that bottom one is if you've got your pinky break, or you can just grab hold of the, the pack and just push that card out a bit to the side. Then all you need to do then is get your thumb out of the way for the starters. Now, have a pinky break. But you need to get it to raise above this thumb because you can't get that thumb out of the way. Just kick a little bit to the side so it's sticking out. And all you do then is just give it a little push down with your first finger and swap over to your ring, your middle finger and carry on pushing down. And then when you take your hand away, you've got it copped again, but it's it hasn't got that movement in it. I mean, it's virtually, um, virtually an, inv an invisible one. So there's, I say, a couple of ways of copping a card, and that's for anybody who can't get away with holding the card in the hand in a palmed position. I mean, cops come in useful for a lot of other things as well. Like if you want to get rid of a, oh, doing well here, aren't I? If you want to get rid of a card, you can copy, pull your hand back, and you do a thing called lapping where you just drop the card off, off the end of the table, and that's easier to do, obviously in a cop because your hands go nowhere near the end really it's still well on the table whereas if you had it in a palm you've got to pull your hand all the way back so copping or cupping uh, i hope it's coming it'll come in useful for you i hope you can make use out of any one or all of them ones that i've shown you and i'll see you later